Okay, firstly, thanks a lot for the nice comments on my videos and the new subscribers to the channel. I'm gonna shout out three people at the end of the video. Now, I'm not singing in this one. I just wanted to do this one because of the package I just received. I'm gonna unbox it. It's my new microphone, the Sennheiser MKH416. I'm also gonna let you know what mic I use when I record in the studio. If that's not really your thing, it's fine. I understand you can skip to the end of the video and check out the shout outs. Every section is timestamped as you scroll through the video. All right, so like I said, I love sound. I love, love sound, people. Uh, it still to this day blows my mind that what we hear what we hear can trigger emotions, make you happy, make you sad, make you feel stronger. I think it's amazing, I do. And I've always been drawn to vocal voice. It's a powerful thing, a very, very powerful thing. Every person that inspired me musically growing up had an amazing voice without fail. Uh, that's why I did go through part of my life being slightly obsessed with the way sound is captured. And after many years traveling around the world and recording in some of the most iconic studios ever, I fell in love with a certain microphone. That microphone is the Neumann M149. I love it. For my voice, it ticks every single box. It's the cleanest sounding mic that I feel most accurately represents what I hear in my head when I'm singing. And I say my voice, cause you know, every voice is different. So what's right for me might not be right for you. You've got to do the whole trial and error thing. So that's what microphone I use in the studio and what I've used on most of my recordings. It is a case of horses for courses though, cause you wouldn't want to uh, use that mic on stage for two reasons. One, as far as mics go, it's a very expensive mic. And two, uh, it's not the most robust microphone. I mean, it is solid, but if you tripped up on stage and you dropped it, uh, you might shed a little tear. <laughs> so for stage then, I've got the Shure SM58. Although uh, when I'm on tour, I prefer the Sennheiser Wireless G4 system. It's pretty awesome. And obviously it's wireless, so perfect for my kind of show. Uh, for my podcast, the Lamar Show, the microphone I use is the Shure SM7B. That one is pretty awesome. And I've actually used it in a couple of songs I've sung on here recently. It's a brilliant microphone, great in proximity uh, for that close up and personal vibe. Hence why I use it for the podcast. Actually, that's the one I use for recording my radio show on Magic Soul. I currently present a show on Magic Soul as well. Uh, don't know if you knew that, but now you do. Anyway, you can check out all those microphones using the links in the description below. I've also put some links to cheaper options as well because I really do believe it's what you do on the microphone more so than the mic itself that matters, all right? The mic is just the icing on the cake. Okay, so I got this today. This, you do not understand how long I've been waiting for this to arrive. Brexit has meant there's been loads of delays on anything coming into the UK from Europe. So this is nearly a month, one month. <laughs> overdue. All right, this is it. The Sennheiser MKH416 P48U3. A very long name. In the box, there's the microphone, which is pretty heavy to be fair, and way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, what else have you got in here? You've got a windshield, a popper stopper kind of thing, and an accessory for mounting the camera to a stand or a boom. Nice. Okay, well, hopefully there is a difference because the difference in price is very, large. I'm currently using the HTDZ, it's just out of shot, so I'm just reading it. The HTDZ HT81. I do not know who comes up with these names. That sounds like this. That's what you've been hearing so far. I'm gonna plug in the new mic upgrade and you can let me know if there's any difference. Now, I'm not gonna change anything. Maybe just balance the volume if there's a big difference for some reason. And you can let me know if it's better or please no worse. All right, uh, I'm sticking with it though. Either way, I've made a commitment. Yeah, one, two, three. This is the sound of the Sennheiser MKH416. Does it sound any better? Does it sound different? I hope it does. There's like a huge difference in price. No idea yet if it was worth it, uh, but yeah, that's it. That's the new vibe. That's the little upgrade. It is small, but you know, it's the small things that make a difference, right? This is it close up, one, two, one, two. And uh, this is it further away. One, two, one, two, no editing. This is it. Okay, enough of the sound and new package celebrations. Time for those shout outs. I'm sending a shout out to Lawrence Morsillo in France. I hope I said that right. Thanks for the nice comments. I'm so happy that Google Translate has allowed me understand and respond uh, 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 to Lawrence. I'm not even sure if he realized that I couldn't speak French. He, he obviously does now. Who else was there? Uh, Claudia, Claudia Silvestri. 
she's left some really, really nice messages as well. Nice to have you on board, Claudia. And uh, Dawn, Dawn Archer. Dawn said she's spending her Valentine's having a nice meal with her hubby. They usually go out, but obviously the current situation won't allow that. Uh, so yeah, making the best of the situation. All right, that's it. If you don't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload a video, more music, vlogs, and other stuff to follow. All right, see you soon. Peace.